Hey everybody, Scott Kelby here. Now yesterday we talked about how to shoot fireworks. Today we're talking about how to post process in Photoshop. All right, first I want to show you a little trick called make your own grand finale. All right, so we have a, an image here on screen and then we have another image here on screen. Here's what you do. Select all, so we'll just go select menu all. Then you're going to copy and paste. Copy Go back to the other image, hit paste, it covers it up until you change the layer blend mode to screen and then it adds it to your fireworks. So you've just increased your fireworks big time. So now if you're moving this, you see that you can see a faint line there, which means that the, the black in the sky on the screen layers is a little is a little lighter. So all you're going to do, and you'll have to do this from time to time, is to go to the levels adjustment and drag the blacks to the right. If you're not comfortable with, with that, just go to the camera raw filter and drag the blacks to the left and click OK. And then there you go. So now you can move them anywhere you want without seeing that edge, see? And then let, let's, uh, let's do it one more time. Let's not grab that one, but the next one over. Select all and copy. Let's bring it over here, hit paste, and then we'll choose um, screen now this really creates quite a quite a calamity uh, <laughs> so unfortunately because I the way I composed it you can see multiple bridges here and stuff so what I would do is, is kind of instead of this I would hold the option key on Mac and the alt key on Windows and click on the third icon from the bottom so option click on the add layer mask icon that way you can make sure the black mask is selected Make sure white is your foreground color and you can go and you can paint in that little thing at the bottom here coming off the island and it'll blend right in because you're in screen mode and then if you want to add more stuff in the sky well away from the other craziness you can and it shouldn't be a problem there we go you can add a little bit more in there okay so that's how to create your own finale and of course you can go here and uh Go to uh, camera raw filter again to make sure that's nice and dark. Okay, so that's that's one thing. Now, let's go over here and look how to start. Wow, this looks really bad, but we're going to fix that using, yep, the camera raw filter. So we are going to go and uh, first we're going to have to crop it. Let me get to cropping first. Let's grab the crop tool. Let's get in there nice and tight. Let's turn this a bit, uh, get it a little straight because that's incredibly not straight. I want to keep a little of the bridge and the other stuff in there so we won't get super, super tight, but there we go, something like that. All right, well, that's a little better. One thing you can do that'll help is to just duplicate the layer, just duplicate it, Command-J on Mac or Control-J on Windows, change your blend mode to screen, and that will double everything up right there, but I prefer to do it once it's kind of cropped like that, just to run over here to the camera raw filter and you can add clarity. Clarity really makes the colors pop, right? Take a look at what it does for the city and for the fireworks. You can increase the overall contrast. And again, if things get start to look like blown out, you're seeing the smoke kind of make some noise down here, you can drag the blacks to the left to make it nice and solid black, or you can go over here to the effects menu to dehaze to take away smoke that appears from the fireworks that is really really handy and we'll click OK on that and you can see that's already tremendously better I'm gonna grab the uh, the spot healing brush and kind of just paint away these extra trails up here that don't look good or you can do what I did earlier which is to crop in even tighter in this case and just show the fireworks themselves you saw those earlier so you have just that. All right, let's look at another one real quick since we got just a quick minute. How about this one? It needs uh, cropping. It needs rotating. And we're just going to move over a little bit. I'm going to show you something you might find really surprising. So, you know, clarity is going to make everything real like crunchy, right? It does mid-tone contrast. So if I go to filter and I choose camera raw filter, and I go and crank up the clarity, it's gonna get real crunchy. It looks good in the city down below, and uh, it looks okay with the uh, fireworks too. But I wanna, I wanna throw this out there. I wanna try something different. Drag your clarity instead of to the right to make it crunchy, drag it all the way to the left. And look at that, it kinda gets this 
kind of cool look and then I can go and add a little exposure make it a little brighter maybe pump up the highlights just a tiny bit I, I said a tiny bit and then cranked them to death I drag the whites all the way to zero and then for a finishing move how about this let's hit OK and if you've got the Nick collection right the Nick collection the free uh, filters from Google so go to Google type in Nick collection and download them if you don't have them go to color effects pro 4 right which is a whole collection of different filters and one that looks nice for fireworks is called detail extractor click on the little icon just to the right of it there's four different presets that come with it by default click on the default one all the rest look kind of crazy and click OK give it a second to apply and by a second I mean like you know a minute or so now it's almost done here it comes no this time I mean it it's really gonna be there here we go Saving image, maybe not the fastest filter ever made. Um, all right, and you can see what that did. Now, you can also say, well, the sky's not solid black anymore, right? Well, we know how to fix that. You can always just go back to camera raw filter, lower the blacks, and it makes it blacker. And then there's that's gone. And of course, you can always add more dehaze to get rid of the fog. But I think that has a really nice look. It's something different, and it takes kind of the edge off it, but I think it has a nice look as well. Now, if you want to make the city stand out more, of course, you can do that as well. You could have gone, while we were still in the camera raw filter, you could have gone with the adjustment brush and you could have cranked up the exposure a little bit and cranked up the clarity and then brought that out as much as you want. Please don't go that much. <laughs> Just a little bit would have been would have been plenty. Got a little carried away there. All right, and of course, one other thing, you do have the vibrant slider to bring out color and make things more colorful. So if you really want to make it more colorful, there's a way. And for our last thing, we're going to add an extra, an extra finale. Not that one. Yeah, let's try that one. Let's go see if we can get that last one that we just did. Throw that on top. Let's see which one we were working on. We were working on uh, this one. There we go. Throw an extra one in there. Hit screen and there we go we're, we're building up our fireworks i hope you guys found that helpful uh thanks for coming by the blog and uh don't forget tomorrow we have a free kelby one members only webcast with adobe's own terry white who has uh, been in a a, a a photoshop evangelist with adobe for 20 years and uh, he's 20 years at Adobe. He'll be with us on Wednesday for a Kelby One members only webcast answering questions about the latest version of the just released Photoshop CC 2015.5. So if you're a member, keep an eye on your email and look for your invitation to come and join us. It is a members only event. And I uh, hope to see you guys there. Uh, and if you're not a Kelby One member, you can still come and watch it. Go to kelbyone.com, take the free trial. Join us tomorrow. Terry will be taking your questions and giving you answers and sharing all kinds of ideas tomorrow. So we'll see you guys tomorrow afternoon. Take care, everybody.